flight of all these butterflies inside this case. But before we get started, there are a couple of rules I need to go over. Uh, we are a USDA regulated facility, and there are two rules we ask of all of our visitors. Number one, please do not touch the butterflies. Uh, this includes putting your finger out and trying to get them to crawl on you as they're nectaring or as they're basking. Uh, we ask that you don't do this because all those colors and patterns that we admire so much on their wings are made up of tiny scales that fall off like dust, and they don't regrow them. So we want to make sure to keep them nice and intact. And then our second rule is, is just to make sure to look in the mirror over there for any hitchhikers that might land on you. Now, this just might happen if you're wearing a bright color like pink, red, purple, orange, or if you use an ice mine perfume or shampoo today. They might think that you're a giant juicy flower and they might land on you. Now, if this happens, don't panic. They don't have teeth, they don't have fingers, they can't do anything to you. Just make sure to let one of us know we'll be happy to remove the butterfly before you leave the haven. Now, we have about 30 to 40 different species in here and about 1,000 butterflies flying around at any given moment. And we get these butterflies um, in a very different and interesting way. Uh, you probably saw me walk in here with a case full of butterflies, and you probably also noticed that a lot of the species in here we don't see outside of Chicago, not even in North America. So where do we get them and how do we get them? Well, we order them from butterfly farms from around the world, and they're coming to us from farms down in Latin America, Asia, Australia, Africa, and even from farms down in Florida. And they're being shipped here in their chrysalis form through the mail. And that's how we get our butterflies. And when they arrive, our staff and our volunteers will unpackage them and pin them and pin them to a board that is located in our lab. You can actually see this process going on right now. We have two interns working on that. And they stay in their chrysalis form hanging for about one to two weeks, depending on the species. And then a butterfly emerges. And when they come out, their wings are all wet and wrinkled up, and they have to pump up their wings to get them nice and straight so that they can fly. And when they begin to flutter around, we bring them inside the haven. And they really love our haven because as you can tell, it's a nice little tropical paradise. It's about 80 degrees in here year round with high humidity. And we keep it like this because the butterflies want to survive in a cold climate. And it's also the perfect environment for all these tropical flowers to be in here. And butterflies really love flowers. Do you guys know why? What do they get from butter or from flowers? Do you guys know? What are they drinking? Yeah? Nectar, that's right. So we have to make sure to provide enough butterfly food, which is nectar for all, for all, from all these flowers. Or we also put out um, oranges and bananas, and they'll drink the juices from those fruits. And we put out a honey water solution on the red sponges and it's around the haven. What we do not provide, though, are host plants. And a host plant is a special kind of plant that every butterfly needs in order to lay eggs. So, for example, the monarch butterfly is going to fly around looking for milkweed. But she's not going to find any milkweed in here, so she won't deposit any of her eggs. And that goes for all the species in here. They're not going to find that plant they really like. So they're not going to lay any eggs, and we're not going to have any caterpillars. And we want to keep it that way because if we had a bunch of caterpillars in here, they would eat all the leaves, and they can easily escape and become an agricultural pest. So we're going to just continue to order our chrysalis for butterfly farms. Now I'm going to go ahead and count down from five, and can you guys help me to watch these butterflies fly? Anyone that does not fly, I'm going to place on myself and on the volunteers, and we're going to walk around and show you the butterflies up close. Thank you so much for joining us today, and can you guys help me count down from five? You guys ready? All right. Five, 